Hello, beautiful people of Earth. Welcome to Yeti Splash. Splash, splash, splash. Today, this is a fun video. I'm going to be sharing with you five silly things that I miss about Nigeria. Before I go on, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Just Help me subscribe, it's free as well. Thank you. So the first on my list is the transportation. Ha! Everywhere you're going in the UK is one pound for society. Let me explain. If you enter a bus now, you are lighting at the next bus stop, which is literally just two minutes drive. You're still paying one pound fifty-five, and there's no way you will say you will not pay because as you are entering, you are tapping and they are removing their money. So any bus stop at all, they have that universal bus stop policy, and it's one pound fifty-five. Unlike Nigeria, if I'm going from uh, was uh, why am I forgetting? <laughs> okay, Aja for instance. If I'm at Aja and I'm going to Valente. You know, and the bus is like 300 naira. I can still tell the conductor I have 200 naira, and if he's a kind person, say okay. You know, you can still negotiate your fare sometimes. And even if you're going to like, okay, from Aja to the next stop or to Lekki Phase One, you're not going to pay the same fare with those going to Obalin. Then you can pay 100 naira, 150. You know, there is various in price. You get to negotiate your own price from Aja to to New Road. That's 100 naira. Even from Aja to Eliganza, you can still pay 50 naira. Do you get? And it's still the same Obalin Day bus. Everybody. Just get to pay their like pro rata, you know. You get to pay your fare as you're going, but here yeah, every stop is one pound fifty five. So if you know that way, you're there is just one minute and you don't want to waste one pound fifty five because that is like one thousand naira, Nigerian naira. So you rather track it. Another thing about the transport system is that because you get to pay before you even board, like as you are boarding, you might not find anybody to pay your transport fare. <laughs> And you might not pay another person transport fare, so it's both ways. I'm used to people pay my transport fare like hardly in a year. Someone has to pay, I must know somebody, or I get to pay for in a year, or even monthly, I get to pay for someone too. So it's oh, I'm used to that thing, and sometimes I even pray for it. Ah, that God, please don't tell me somebody that I mean this board. I'll just say, Ah, yes, don't worry, I'll pay your transport fare. <laughs> Individual payment system, <laughs> no lapping. You know, I just miss everything. No bus chance, no gist, no Chelsea football match that happened recently. All blues and we won. It should have been like a very big deal inside bus in Lagos. But here, the second thing I still don't like about the YouTube is the weather. <laughs> I know you guys will say it's almost summer or even, I can say we're in summer now. Spring, summer is, today was quite sunny, I wouldn't even lie, but still, the weather doesn't sit well with me at all. Like, I hate the fact that I still have to wear sweater. Like, it's still chilly. It's sunny, but it's chilly sun. I don't know if you get me. I don't. If there is so, if I can swap Nigerian weather for the UK weather, I don't mind. But I think the UK weather is, is good in the sense that it makes you look good. You know, there's nothing making you look black. It's getting better. Or I'm adjusting, but still. I think the weather is just one thing that does not really sit well with me. One silly thing, that, like I said, it's not enough for me to go out because at least the skin is glowing, but still, that doesn't, I still don't like it. But I still don't like it. Let me just see. Once there's small sun here, yeah, everybody goes naked. Like the whole world, the whole country is naked. You can see, ah ah. So even inside this school, you are still showing this skin. Once there's small sun, the whole park. Field everywhere with human beings, and you'll be like, ah, ah, where have they tied you people since all these days, you know? But nonetheless, I still do not like the fact that the weather is cold. Another thing I don't like is the access to market. I don't know. I used to be a Lagos Island addict. Like, I go to Lagos Island just for going sick. It's where, like, I don't really have anything 
reasonable to buy whatever it is i wanted to buy i could have gotten it in my street but i'll still go to that i don't eco market like more no, like eco gone i really 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 do enjoy going to ireland i really love the market i love how it's connected i love how you know that if you want to buy everything stones you go to tom jones if you want to buy clothes you go to balogo if you want to buy slippers and all of that you go to do matter you know i really love lagos island market but here there's a vacuum in my heart and it is a market vacuum that needs to be filled like the access to markets here is just is weird and it's so strange like it's not you want to buy everything you go to shops and the price are already there you can't price it yeah god ninja and i think it's the pricing i mean you know having to negotiate i oh god i really 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 miss negotiation like you know they will tell you at the market that something is two thousand you will even send me you just move forward and see the compact how much do you want to pay ah! <laughs> there is no such thing like that here and it's killing me like it's really 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 killing me the access to market is just weird like it's just really weird you buy everything you either order online or shows i'm still one day I'm, I'm still finding markets i'm still really finding markets so if you have any idea of market i can just go to and visit for four days like balogo in the uk please don't forget to put it in the comment section another silly thing that i don't like in the uk is the access to neighbor neighbor <laughs> hold up hold up one second let me explain Nigeria is communal in nature, like you get to know everybody. What I was saying before I moved to the UK, I had a flatmate. His name was Willie, Mr. Willie. Willie is my G, like Willie helps me change my bulb, my socket. You know, we had a connection, we're talking. And apart from Willie, my other neighbors are not my flatmates. You know, I get to say, hey, my God, hello, how are you? You know, we get to talk. At the mocks, I had someone everywhere, basically, like, up from the beginning of the street to the end there's someone you're greeting there's that tailor you're saying hello to there's someone you're, that is just your acquaintance you know it was common now people just vibed and related with each other you know Niger was it was a vibe a community vibe. you always feel that community vibe like people vibe that long you don't even have to you don't even have to go to their houses do you get but from the beginning of the street to the end no one can tell me that they don't have one person they say hello to for here. Ah. Every time I drop at the bus stop and I'm you know walking down to my place, like there is nobody you will greet, no one, and the one that is like your closest neighbor, like literally next door. You don't even know what they look like, you know. It's really, really, really annoying and so frustrating. Like I miss neighbors <laughs> as weird as it sound <laughs> it is the honest truth like i really miss neighbor that neighbor neighbor vibe that i used to get in nigeria i didn't even know that neighbor neighbor vibe was a thing until i moved here and everyone was just like bottom screaming bottom like I really miss that Nibo vibe to be very honest. Anyways, we've come to the end of this funny video. I hope I made you laugh. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. I love you so much. Thank you to everyone watching my video. Without you guys, I can't make these videos. Thank you all so much for your support. Till I come your way next time. Let me leave you with this beautiful video by my cousin. Bye. We're out here. Shout out to Yeti Splash. Yeti Splash, Splash, Splash. This gets hot. <laughs>